platinum. I am Dr. Padma Sri Basta, consultant gynecologist at Motherhood Hospital, Lulanagar. Today I will be discussing a very important topic about the importance of ultrasound in pregnancy. Now, ultrasound is a very important diagnostic tool for us to bring about a healthy pregnancy outcome. So, when should an ultrasound be done and what does ultrasound do for us and what do we uh, intend to do uh, with the ultrasound reports? So, when should an ultrasound be done in pregnancy? As per WHO protocol, there are four ultrasounds to be done in the ninth month period of a pregnancy. The first ultrasound is done at the first visit, ideally at about 6 to 7 week of pregnancy. The second ultrasound done is at 12 weeks, third at 19 to 21 weeks of pregnancy and the fourth ultrasound is done at 32 weeks of pregnancy. Each of these ultrasounds is of different importance. Like the first ultrasound done at 6 to 7 week of pregnancy is for two things. One, to find the site of pregnancy and two, for the viability of pregnancy. Site of pregnancy is to see whether the pregnancy is in the uterus or if it is stuck in the, in the tube which is called the ectopic pregnancy. The viability of pregnancy to determine whether the heartbeat has started, is the pregnancy live and whether there is anything in the pregnancy, in the uterine cavity, any blood clot, any bleeding which can affect the health of the pregnancy. The second ultrasound at 12 weeks is called the anti scan, that is a measurement for the nape of the neck of the fetus, the measurement of which, along with a blood test or a dual marker, is done to rule out genetic problems in the fetus. The third 19 to 21 weeks pregnancy is to rule out anomalies in the fetus. That is the most uh, uh, important ultrasound in pregnancy and uh, to rule out any abnormal development in the parts of the baby. The third, fourth ultrasound is done at 32 weeks of pregnancy which is called as the growth scan which is to see whether the baby is growing as per the dates, whether the lichen inside the uterus is adequate, whether the blood supply from the baby to, from the mother to the baby is adequate or not. That is called the Doppler studies. So this is the basic ultrasound requirements in pregnancy. But there are conditions and situations in which we may ask for further ultrasounds or maybe the number of ultrasounds may increase in these nine months. This can happen if the patient comes to us with bleeding, with pain or if we feel that the baby is not growing adequately or if our ultrasound says that the lichen, the amount of fluid inside the cavity is less than usual, so we may require follow-up ultrasounds. So if these conditions are like certain diagnoses like threatened abortion, incomplete abortion or if there is low lying placenta, if there is a condition called cervical incompetence in which the os opens up before time, if there is growth retardation, if there is oligohydramnios which is less lichen or polyhydramnios in which there is more lichen. So in these conditions, the number of ultrasounds required may be more which, in which is required for follow-up for the baby. Now there are certain myths associated with ultrasound. One is that ultrasound is harmful to the baby and should not be done very frequently. This is not so. Ultrasound is nothing but high frequency sound waves, which is extremely safe and has no harm to the baby. Second myth is that the first ultrasound should be done as late as possible, ideally in the fourth month. No, ultrasound should be done ideally by six to seven week of pregnancy. This will not only tell us whether the dates are right, but will also help us to calculate the expected date of delivery with utmost accuracy. So the first ultrasound should be done in ideally the six to seven week. The next uh, myth about ultrasound is that a transvaginal ultrasound can cause harm to the baby. The transvaginal ultrasound is done in early pregnancies, especially in women in whom the ultrasound done abdominally does not show a clear picture. In early pregnancy, 
especially if the anterior abdominal wall is very fat and thick, nothing can be visualized clearly and sometimes the heartbeat is not visualized clearly. So the radiologist or the gynecologist may advise for a transvaginal scan. Transvaginal scan is very safe and should not be feared. It just gives us a better picture of the pregnancy in early pregnancy, the early stages. So uh, these are the certain myths associated with ultrasound. Now remember, ultrasound is one of the most valuable diagnostic tools which is there with a gynecologist, which will help us diagnose very, very serious conditions at a very early stage and which helps us save a, a patient's life and also give a very good outcome to the fetus. Thank you.